WSTKS FM Worldwide, digital collaborative learning for the 21st century. Well, hello there, everyone. Professor Schwartz here in the WSTKS FM Worldwide Studios, yet again with my second mug of coffee for this morning and my feline bud, Onyx the Cat, hanging around after doing his best to take care of a lone mouse here in the studio. Poor mouse. Today, let's look at three key factors for your student learning team to consider in the creation of your first collaborative project a review and evaluation of two recent journal articles. All set? Then here we go. To begin with, let's talk about collaboration and the assignment prompt. Remember that this course and its projects have been designed to facilitate peer learning through collaboration. Effective collaboration is an organized, ongoing, and democratic process in which all student learning team members should be involved and provide mutual support to one another from start to finish of the project. Cultivating effective collaborative habits now will prepare students for a smooth transition to the workplace of the 21st century in which collaboration, often remote, is the expected norm. This trend, already well underway pre-COVID, has been accelerated by the challenges of the pandemic and is unlikely to go away given the increasing influence of technology and artificial intelligence in the globalized digital economy of the 21st century. Let's take a quick break now, and when we come back, I'll talk about the assignment prompt more specifically itself before moving into the three options available to your student learning team for presenting its review and evaluation of your two chosen journal articles. See you in just a moment. Welcome back, everyone. In the first segment, I talked briefly about collaboration and the general nature of your first big team assignment, which is a review and evaluation of two recent journal articles that have something to do with the course materials you have examined during the first five weeks of the semester. These articles should help your team members think more deeply and expansively about the films, novels, plays, or poetry you have examined in the course so far. Now let's look at the specific assignment prompt. For this first team project, you should collaborate with the members of your team to develop either a TV newscast or talk show video, or an explainer animation, or a comic book or graphic novel. Whichever format your team chooses to present its work, you should make sure to review, assess, and appraise the usefulness of two recent journal articles that are less than 10 years old. Your two articles should pertain in some way to the materials you have examined during the first five weeks of the course and help you think more deeply and expansively about those same materials as I have just mentioned. Your review, assessment, and appraisal of your team's two journal articles should be at least four to five minutes in length. Concision is the name of the game. Slightly longer is fine, but no more than six to seven minutes, please. Be sure to read carefully through the project packet already uploaded to D2L. Just click on the project packets folder on the left side of your screen for full information. When we come back in just a moment, I'll talk about the three options available to your student learning team for this project. Stay tuned. You're listening to WSTKSFM Worldwide, digital collaborative learning for the 21st century. If you find this podcast useful, be sure to hit like, share, and subscribe. Okay, let's get to the nitty gritty now and look at the three choices your student learning team has to present its work for this first project a review, 
and evaluation of two recent journal articles that pertain to the course materials you have examined during the first five weeks or so of the course. First, your team can present its review and evaluation of your two journal articles in the form of either a TV newscast or talk show. Here, your team members act out various roles as news anchors in the studio or interviewing people on the street. Alternately, you can play the role of talk show hosts, talking to various subject matter experts or guests in a discussion panel format. After developing a detailed script, your student learning team can use an online app like WeVideo to produce and edit its newscast or talk show before uploading a link to the related D2L folder when you have refined and finished your collaborative work. A second option that your student learning team might like to consider as a way of presenting its work is to create an explainer animation using an online app like Movely or Powtoon. Here, your team will create animated characters, text, and music to present your discussion of the strengths, weaknesses, and overall usefulness of the two articles you have chosen to examine in detail. As I mentioned previously in today's podcast, be sure to have a look at Project Packet 1 and the Week 5 online course module on D2L for additional information. In just a moment, I'll be right back to talk about the third possible choice available to your student learning team for presenting its review and evaluation of two recent journal articles. See you in two shakes. Hello again, everyone. Before the break, I discussed the first couple of choices your student learning team has to present its review and evaluation of two recent journal articles that pertain in some way to the course materials you have examined during roughly the first third of the course. These included a TV newscast or talk show produced using the Wii Video app, or an explainer animation video produced using apps like Movely or Powtoon. Let's turn now to the third possible option available to your student learning team for sharing its knowledge with the world. You might choose to create a comic book or graphic novel using online apps like Make Beliefs Comics, Book Creator, or Storyboard That. Much like the first couple of options, your team will work together to develop a coherent storyline, script, characters, and scenes that present the knowledge you create about the two journal articles chosen for this project. Regardless of the precise format your team chooses to share its knowledge, remember that a book or article review and evaluation should do three things. First, you should concisely summarize your two journal articles. This section should be brief and to the point, no more than 25 to 30 percent of your review. Next, and more important, your student learning team should discuss the strengths and weaknesses of your two articles. Last, be sure to assess the overall usefulness of your articles for the purpose of thinking more deeply about our primary course materials, whether those have been films, novels, books, plays, poetry, or some combination thereof. Have a look at the various links embedded in the Week 5 course module for additional helpful information on effective review and critique of scholarly journal articles. Following a final quick break for a station identification, I'll be right back to round up our discussion today. Stay tuned. You're listening to WSTKSFM Worldwide, digital collaborative learning for the 21st century. If you find this podcast useful, be sure to hit like, share, and subscribe. And we're back. Whether your student learning team chooses to present its work as a TV newscast or talk show, or as an explainer animation, or as a comic book or graphic novel, keep the following points in mind. Your project should also be fully interactive, 
include and integrate at least six relevant working hyperlinks to additional digital text, images, videos, music, sound, or other relevant media that helps illustrate, clarify, further explain, or support the new knowledge your team creates and shares through its collaboration. There is a lot to think about here, so it is vital that your student learning team starts its work early. The nature of this digital collaborative project makes it hard to throw together in just a day or two before the due date. Remember, success within and by your student learning team means that all of you communicate, coordinate, collaborate, contribute, and create in a timely and collegial way. I'll be right back with a few final words for today in just a moment. Okay, everyone, that will do it for this podcast on the three key factors for your student learning team to consider as it develops collaborative project number one, the review and evaluation of two recent journal articles that help you think more deeply and expansively about the materials you have examined during the first five weeks or so of this course. Make sure to read the related project packets and week five course module on D2L for full details which include the assignment prompt, additional related information, and the grading rubric that will be used to assess your teamwork. Use the latter as a checklist of sorts to help make sure that your student learning team is headed in the right direction with this project. And with that said, thank you for joining me this time and every time. I'll see you in class, online, and during Zoom office hours if you drop by with a question. Have a safe and productive week in the meantime, everyone. <laughs> With special regards from Onyx, the cat what am. So long, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye, everyone. You've just heard a podcast from WSTKS FM Worldwide. Digital collaborative learning for the 21st century. <laughs>